Wooden club? Running zombies? 250% damage? Yeah, peace out, bro. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Seven Days to Die. All right, guys, we got a new season going. The new season is going to be called Difficulty Rising. All right, if you want to look at all the settings, you can look at them right here. The main setting I'm look I wanted you to see though, it will be an always run series. But that's not all. There's going to be other things that are going to make it more difficult. Uh, I'll just show you my settings really quick. Okay, and the things that's going to make this a little bit more difficult, I did add a couple of very, very tiny little itty bitty mods. Now, I'm not going to consider this a modded series because these mods are more like, I feel like they should be kind of in the options anyway, um, like as far as difficulty settings go. So it doesn't change the game in any really significant way, except for one thing. Um, well, two things actually. All right, so one of the one of the mods I put in is headshot zombies. Headshot damage goes from 200% to 400%, Okay. Uh, also, melee or range attacks against zombies that are not headshots go from 100% to 20%. Okay? That's awesome. And then there's also a, another mod in here called um, Dangerous Zombies, which makes the zombies do 250% more damage. Now, I've been told that on insane difficulty, 250% more damage is... is the norm um, but it also nerfs your damage so you do less damage to the zombies which is why they're they're kind of bullet spongy so basically dangerous dangerous um zombies makes the zombies hit like they're on um insane but take damage like they do on nomad or normal or whatever so all right well there's all the settings let's get started man oh boy i'm so freaking nervous like i don't I, i've never done an always run series guys it's a first this is a first uh for always run series and I am nervous. And if I don't hit them in the head, they don't take any damage, basically. I did some tests. They take, like, five points of damage if you hit them in the body. And that's, like, a zombie with, like, 150 hit points. So, do the math with that, right? That is going to be rough. Huh. <laughs> super, super duper nervous, man. One other thing I wanted to mention is we're loading in here. I did use nitrogen to generate the map. Nitrogen is, um, is if I remember, I'm really trying to remember, guys. I want to put a link to nitrogen in the description of these videos. Nitrogen lets you make the most badass freaking maps ever. Like, this whole map is like a city. There's freaking buildings everywhere. It's like a city. It's absolutely insane. That right there is the land claim block I threw out. I just wanted to spawn in just to make sure everything was working okay. And uh, here we go, guys. Freaking always run, man. I don't know how to handle this stuff. Like, I, when I used to, like, deal with running zombies, I would put down, like, um... What I would do is I would put down, like, obstacles. You know, like, uh... uh like, um, uh, barbed wire fence and stuff. But now the zombies are so smart, they just run around that stuff. So... Can I scrap the land claim block? See, that'd be nice if you could scrap the land claim block into stone. I don't really need it in the early game. But... All right, we need to find stone here, but I'm going to try and stay as close to my starting area as possible. If you get too far away from your starting area, zombies will start spawning. They are running. I have no weapon. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not going to be a good thing for me. Um, let me go ahead and place this down. There we go. And I think I need four stones total for the next quest. Uh, what is it? I don't even remember. I haven't done this in a while. All right, bro, what do you want? Okay, we need more wood. Sounds good to me. All right, I have finished the quests uneventfully, which is pretty awesome. And let's decide we're going to put our points now. Um, definitely, definitely want to point in the healing factor. Rule one cardio. Um, I, I kind of like Dare Adventurer, but I think I might want to start getting my um. I really want to start getting my abilities to survive up. How about how about this? How about Dagger Adventure is just too powerful early game. And pain tolerance. Alright. Gonna try and do the best we can to survive. I am going fortitude build, by the way. Alright. Whoa. 1.4 kilometers away? Damn, dude. That's a lot farther than I thought it was gonna be. Like, I put, I sent it to put traders, like, everywhere. And, like, in towns. But, I don't know. Guess I got a little unlucky with that one. Alright. Well, let's just go ahead and start looting on the way. And see, I want a gun. I want a gun, and I want it now. <laughs> you know, that's going to be the thing I want the most. If I can get a gun, that would go a long way. I mean, right now, I've got a, I've got an absolute piece of crap of a club here. Like, just absolute trash. 
So we'll see if we can find one. I don't think you don't really find guns in cars a lot, do you? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not usually that concerned about guns. They just kind of find their way to me eventually. But it's a pretty good car. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be avoiding zombies as much as possible. No, I'm not doing a stealth build. Um, <laughs> I admit a stealth build would be a good idea. I just don't like the playstyle. All right. So I could waste an arrow on this guy, but he's going to get away because it takes like multiple shots to kill them and I only have five arrows. So I'm just going to hold off on that. What's up, bro? Okay. Maybe I'll just beat you to death. <laughs> oh, look at that. The old, old cracker book, man. Oh, dude. I haven't seen that cracker book in forever. See what I'm talking about? Nitrogen. It's just awesome. I mean, look at this. It's like, it's like I'm living in a city. I love it. Now, is the lag going to be an issue? Eh, I hope not. <laughs> uh, we got a big fatty. See, that's not the first guy I want to be fighting. I'm going to avoid him. That's a rough first fight on always run. Have to hit him in the head. <laughs> be dying on my first zombie. Ooh, that's a nice find right there. All right, let's try to avoid that guy if we can. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, God, sleeper. Okay, we're gonna avoid the sleeper. Shh. Shh. I know I'm not being super quiet. That's okay. As long as I keep saying shush, they won't hear me, right? That's the way it works. I have to figure out where I want to live too. I definitely want to live somewhat near near the trader. So we'll see what the what the trader's got around him. Um, okay, let's fight this guy. Oh boy. Let's see what these guys got. No way I'm going to hit him in the head. No way. <laughs> Alright, I should have zoomed in. My bad. Alright, whatever. Let's just fight this douchebag. I got one more arrow. Let's get whatever. Stop moving. Oh, you saw me. Okay. Alright, that was a headshot. Headshot number two. Okay. Beautiful. Woo. Okay. We got this, this bad boy. This this town is just ripe for looting. Holy moly. I can't wait. I'm going to go freaking crazy in this town. And yes, I'm actually going to use the awful bow. Maybe I'll just save up the arrows and use them when I get a better bow. Oh, boy. All right. Got to pay attention to my stamina. Oh, that's a point I should have put in a sex rex. Crap, I forgot about sex rex. All right. That's okay. Our next point will go into sexy rex. Okay. See, the thing is, like, I naturally go for the head anyway. That's an old, um, you know, that's an old habit from when I used to play Counter-Strike back in the day. Always go for the head. And let's face it, even in vanilla... They don't take a lot of damage unless you hit them in the head. So, should be somewhat okay with it, you know? See how it goes. Okay. Oh, freaking wolf. Stupid wolf. I hate those damn things. Oh, okay. So, nitrogen. So, I made the map 100% forest. Except for the north and the south. The north and the south will have... North will have uh, snow biome. South will have... Uh, We'll have desert. Okay. Come on. I was hoping he'd get stuck. No. Alright, this is a waste of time and it's going to get us killed. Now I have no stamina to fight this chick with. Getting some back. Make sure you fight her north, south, east, or west. Don't fight them southeast or northeast or anything that's off, you know, because they run really funny. If they're running northeast, southeast, northwest, whatever, you get the idea. They run in a really weird pattern. Um, you want to fight him straight up, you know, north, south, east, or west. And I always forget to do it. Because, <laughs> of course, I do. All right. So this is the fun part of the game. You guys get to tell me how many uh, bird's nests I skipped. Should be a good time. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Here we go. South. Okay. All right. Headshots are nice, dude. I like them. I like them a lot. 
Problem is, if you don't get him in the head, you're in trouble. All right. Man, are we, are we there yet? Are we there yet? My goodness. Let's go. You guys smell that? I love the smell of a new season. Oh, it's so good. Like, starting over is just so good. I mean, it kind of sucks to lose what you built, but I feel like we got... We kind of... Okay, so look at that. Tw if I get hit four times, I'm pretty much dead. Okay, so that's making me nervous. Okay, east. Here we go. Pay attention. See how she's, like, kind of jerking her head around? Oh, whoa. I don't know how that missed. Must have been out of our out of range. Yeah, shooting her in the body is a waste of time. Unfortunately, I am. Okay, come on. Okay. There you go. Yeah, look at that, man. Two hits. I'm fifty percent hit points down. That's that's what I'm saying. There's very, very little room for mistakes here. Oh boy, that's... Woo, gotta get some armor. Some serious, serious armor. Okay. Probably don't have to fight every zombie I come across either. I'm just kind of trying to get used to the... The new difficulty. Alright, we should be just about there. I'm kind of looking at some possible places to live. That would be the ideal place to live. The thing is, I don't want to live there because I've lived there so many other times. So... Probably won't live there, but we'll see. We'll see what else is in the area. There's going to be a lot of interesting places over here. So far, everything I'm seeing is too big. Maybe I'll live right there. I've always wanted to take that building over. And I've always, like, started to and just never, like, never got around to it. Those those series always um, ended. All right, when I don't have any hit points, I'm going to avoid zombies. Could use my health bandage, but... Actually, speaking of bandages, I turned all my cotton into cloth, and I'm going to turn all my cloth into bandages. And then we'll move this right here, put that right there. Okay. And there's the trader. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to like, kind of look around for where I want to build. I'm not really sure yet. I mean, like I said, I could stay in the, I think that was called the mansion back in the day, when it, for, like the governor's mansion or something. I could just live there. I have always, like I said, I like that building a lot. I think I actually did something with that building like a few years ago in a um in a world where I actually went to the um I went to the uh, uh the, the uh, wasteland biome and I kind of and I kind of like re just live there for a challenge. The only thing I don't like about the wasteland biome is it just looks like ass. It just looks so bad. Like it's not so much as difficult that it annoys me. It's it's the way it looks. This freaking guy's guarding the entrance. What a dick. Here we go. Okay. Did he see me? I think he did. Yep, there he is. Right, I'm going to ignore him. Alright, let's talk to the trader. Get some quests, right? Howdy, survivor. What's up? So everything I do early game is going to be about survival. Okay? Um, I think maybe this is the one time I might want to do buried supplies. Especially considering I don't want to run that far to other places. I have a now, the problem with buried supplies is once you get them, zombies spawn on you. You got to get the hell out of there quick. There'll be like five zombies spawning on me. So, that, you know, will be an issue. I don't have any money, so there's no point in seeing what he's got. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a shovel. And I don't think there's anything else I can really do here as far as survivability goes. Maybe I can melee this guy. Yep, I can. Beautiful. Very good. Make sure there's nothing else in the area. Yeah, the buried supply is gonna be a problem, man. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to like make sure I get. Uh, I kind of wish I put a point in the lucky looter now too, with the whole buried supplies thing. Ah, there's just you know, there's like a million things you want, and there's just not enough points to go around. What are you gonna do, right? All right, at least it's close. Yeah, I'm probably just going to... What I'm going to do is once I find it before I open it, I'm going to build myself a little ramp out and then I'm just going to run. I'm not fighting... Oh, that's a, that's a shame. I'm not fighting, like, four zombies with a wooden club always run insane, diff like, damage. Like, I'll just... I'll be dead. Like, that'll be it. Okay. 
So where is this freaking thing? Uh, oh god, it's still a bit, a little bit away. Ba -ba -ba, difficulty rising. Difficulty rising. It's like a door song, right? Yo, keep your mojo rising. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Oh boy. What we got here? I don't see any zombies, so that's good. Uh, please don't be under the freaking the um asphalt. Oh, don't be under the building either. There's gonna be a lot of zombies in that building. I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I don't even have the mail. I don't have the like. I don't have the ranged weapons to take them out, even if I could like get above them. Like, it'll take me forever to kill them with the bow. All right, let's try not to wake anything up. Great. I don't want to be surprised. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one to get. Where's that stripper? All right, she's going over that way. Well, finally, some luck. It was like right there, man. Like right there. I also used the bandage because if I get snuck up on it's game over. At least when I have 50 health. Okay, and let's GTFO. <laughs> let's run the hell away. Wooden club? Running zombies? 250% damage? Yeah, peace out, bro. Peace out. <laughs> uh, no freaking way, man. No freaking way. There's like no room for, no room for mistakes there. I really need a gun, that's what I need. I'm gonna use a lot of weapons, a lot of guns this season. Like, a lot. Like, I don't wanna get be getting hit, you know? I think um, the 42 line is going to be a real hardcore line for me. Um, I think Sex Rex, Lucky Looter, and just go, go like balls deep in freaking, <laughs> the freaking 42 line. Oh, because I, you know, I've been doing bit wars, you know, like uh, the bit wars thing where like people like use bits to spawn zombies on me while I'm streaming. Um, and I've learned like, you know, you get three points into, uh, you get three points into uh, pain tolerance and, and, and things change quite a bit. They really do. So, man, 250% damage. What are you doing to me, Dan? All right, let's go up here and uh, see what we get. I get an extra choice, don't forget. Howdy, sir. Here you go, friend. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, let me think about that. No, I'm not thinking about anything. <laughs> oh, man, that is phenomenal. That is freaking phenomenal. Don't need to, you see, I don't want to go that far to clear, you know? Uh, another buried supplies, or should I try and clear? I kind of want to try and clear out a, a building. Let's get the let's get the buried supplies, and then I'll probably clear out a building, just like a a generic building, you know, that's close. Uh, and let's see what he's got. I've got 560 dukes. Let's see what you got, bro. Volume ranger guide. Bows degrade slower. Okay. Um, right here, chainsaw, shotgun messiah. I'm not doing shotguns this season. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm nowhere near being able to afford it, but that's still a good one. I almost want to buy ammo, which is crazy. I don't see any 7.62. I'm not, I'm not buying that. <laughs> it's too expensive. Uh, oh, steel Nux. Oh, I should get those, like, ASAP. Those are so hard to get, man. Oh, my God. How the hell does he have steel Nux? Well, there's always Shamway up the road. You, you know what the problem is? I'll forget. I will forget. Chemistry station. Please be working. Ugh, nothing's working. Please work, please work. Oh, man. Oh, never mind. That's even better. That's better than having that working. What about you? Okay, I'll take all that. Alright. I kind of want to do the berry supplies now because I want to get those... Alright, hold on. It's getting a scrap here. See, they're enraging. That's that's what gives them that extra burst of speed. Okay. See, I can handle it, but I have to be on point. 
I can't be screwing around like I always do. You know? That's the problem. A lot of times I'll, like, kind of be, like, relaxed. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. And I miss. And I'm like, oh, look at them. They're beating on me. That's not going to be the case. Like, some people were saying uh, last season that the thing that they hated most about the season was I'd get surrounded and get beat on. And, like, I would just, like, shrug it off. You know? That's not going to happen this time, guys. Um, there's no shrugging it off. Even at late game, 250% damage is, is nothing to sneeze at. Also, let me go ahead and mute my phone because that was a mistake. Also, um, you know it's weird? Like, the fun pimps are weird, man. They have the game set at uh, uh, adventure difficulty, which actually gives you 125% bonus damage. Well, you're at 25% bonus damage. You're at 125% damage against the zombies. And they're at 75% damage against the zombies. At Nomad, it's, it's straight up across the board. Guys, fun pimps, come on, man. Like, <laughs> difficulty, if you, if you have a difficulty that is straight across the board, no bonuses to anybody, that's normal. Why would you make default, like, the, the lower one down? That doesn't make any sense to me. So I'll probably play on Nomad from now on, no matter what, you know, whatever the situation may be. And Dan's mod uh, setup is completely designed for that as well. I'm a little slow here. It's not good. This guy won't run on a freaking straight line. Oh boy. I have a feeling some of those weren't in the head. I'm running out of stamina here. I don't have any ammo for my gun, unfortunately. Yep. No good. No good. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, here we go. Finally. I just didn't want to die. Yeah, I can't be slowed down here. Let's go ahead and eat. I don't need this. Let's go ahead and eat that. Learn that. Eat, I said. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I don't need. I, You know, maybe I'll live here. Seems like a pretty, pretty decent spot for a base. It won't be my horde base. But it might be for a little while. I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for a horde base yet. Well, I, I kind of know what I'm going to do. But, like, it's going to be, like, later game stuff. Just trying to wake up the zombies. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Well, there's definitely zombies in here. I'm just not sure exactly where they are. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on outside. Come up bullets? No, of course not. Damn it. Come on, bro. It's a good headshot there. You know, the bow might not be that powerful, but with the headshot thing. Oh, he's pissed. With the headshot thing, eh, it might be worth it. Hopefully, I can loot a better one, too. Give me an arrow back. All right, run straight, please. Whoa, didn't get stunned. No stun. There you go. Oh, man. Every zombie, every freaking zombie I come across is a, is like, oh, you know? <laughs> okay, there's some more up there. Come on. Where are you? Oh, you're inside. Okay. Not exactly what I expected, but... I'll take it nonetheless. Come on, hit her in the head. Hit her in the head. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hit her in the head, bro. Hit her in the head. There you go. Alright. <laughs> Freaking intense, people. You know what? Maybe we should try and sneak a little bit. We're not going to go sneak build. But you know what? It might be a good thing to get that first sneak headshot damage on them, you know? I mean, I'm not going to do it, like, hardcore, but I don't think there's anybody left. There definitely is. I just don't... Oh, God. Never mind. Right, come on out. Come out, cheerleader. Really want to get some bullets for this gun. Oh, boy. Okay. Easy. 
Watch the stamina. Okay. All right. <laughs> you know, this is going to be a quiet series in the beginning because in order for me to like do my best, I can't do commentary. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. you know, like I really got to concentrate. And I know I saw a zombie over here. So let's see what we got. There we go. Oh, one shot it. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's what I should be doing. Of course. Damn it. Where are they coming from? Are they underneath? Are they above? Where the hell are they? Dude, really? Oh, that's right. There's jail doors here. Forgot. Yeah, there's... This is kind of wasting arrows, but... Oh, I hear someone behind me. I think. Not sure. Can I take the arrows back? now? There's definitely someone down here. Yep. Let's go downstairs and take care of the one downstairs. There you are. Shoot, I didn't mean to glitch through that. Okay. Took care of him. <laughs> And let's clear out this building and have a place to stay for the night. I'm hoping they broke out the top bar. Nope. Don't look like they're going to be able to either. Which means in order for me to take him out, I'm going to have to... Do it with the bow. Look at his head! Like, how the hell am I supposed to hit that? I mean, it's like luck. There we go. Really wish I could get those arrows back. There's a safe in there? Oh, two safes. Oh, crap. Okay. I'm gonna look for some lockpicks. Because that'll take forever to break into. Alright, let's loot up. Get upstairs. Set up a chest. We're already going long on this video. Jesus. That's the thing about living in a town. There's zombies everywhere. Okay, where are you? Hell are they? Are they up top or not sure where they are, I can't tell. Let's take a look around the the outside. Oh there you are. Damn it. Oh that's that's easy kill right there. But I can't get in there. Alright, whatever. See, you see what she's got there? She's, um, she broke out the one block on top, but not the bottom one. That's an easy melee kill. But she's probably broken out by now, so. Oh, maybe not. Yep. Come on outside. Let's dance outside. Really? Oh, here you go. Come on, damn it. What are you doing? You're confused. Oh boy. Now she's pissed. <laughs> she went from confused to pissed. Really? Come on, hit her. Get some stamina back. Okay. It's all about stamina management. Okay. Can I loot, please? Please, pretty please, with sugar on top. duster would be nice although i don't really think it's gonna be a problem considering this whole like area is just all forest biome if i want if i want um if i want snow i go up north if i want desert i go down south we done here where'd she break out of oh here we go 
All right. Oh, cargo pockets. This is a good one. And this is a good one too, by the way. All right. Some nice stuff there. Still don't have any ammo though. There's all the ammo, bro. I guess I just haven't been looting ammo places. All right, let's get set up up top. I'm gonna call it a video. Uh, scrap, take this. One thing you do not want to be doing in this kind of a game is, you know, having yourself be uh, slow. All right, so that's right there. They can't get up there, so that's where I nerd pull. Oh, this is different than I remember. Oh. Oh, there's a... That's right, there's two different versions of this building. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna stay on the roof for this one. Let's just go ahead and put that down. Store some stuff, guys. Hey, man, day one didn't die yet, so that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not over yet, but... <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm having a good time, man. It's pretty... It's intense. It's intense. So, if you guys want to see more of this series, and I know you do, make sure you uncage that like button like a boss. And um, if you're new here, eh, you know, maybe you want to subscribe or hit the notification bell or whatever. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.